Hi, this is Carol Reve. I just wanted to do a, uh, what hopes to be just a quick video to show you how to set up your uh, traffic wave autoresponder and and uh, hook the code to your splash page. And we'll be making a quick splash page from Weebly. So this is traffic wave as you can see right here. And what you're going to do is you, of course, sign up. And if you sign up for the free trial, you can still use everything. You just won't get paid affiliate commissions if people sign up and upgrade below you. All right, so click here with the campaign manager. Okay, now I have some campaigns already started. So you're going to click over here, create a new campaign. Okay, and let's just say four corners funnel. And verify that. Okay, then you go to step two. Okay, your your name. Now your email address. Just gonna click that in there. Campaign title. I'm just gonna write in whoops, four corners. Now you can uh, add a URL, although it's uh, not always necessary because you're going to be getting the um, the messages from me, but you may want to do that on your other campaigns if you set some things up there. Okay, so we're going to just move on to step three here. This is very, very quick here. Okay, and we're just going to put our postal from right there, and we're going to move to step four. Now I always click first name and last name and split fields. Okay, because you do want to get that information. And then just move to step five. You do want to click send me an email because you want to be notified. And you can change this if you want to. Um, I don't think I changed that myself, but you can if you want to. You can say thank you for requesting to be a subscriber to turn eighteen dollars into ten thousand, or make money online. You know, and uh, then you want to click read above requirements and click finish. Okay, your campaign's set up. Now it takes you right to the letters tab right there. Just click the letters tab. Okay. And now you're going to click over here on the left. You're going to click Retrieve Published Campaign. And you're going to click Retrieve Other Published Campaign. Okay. And these are the numbers right here. You get a piece of paper out or pause this video. Autoresponder ID for this is 378885. And then there's the five digit code. Put that in there. Paste. And then you're going to select, and you see you won't have all those others in there. You, you, you might have the default, but then you'll have the default, and then you'll have this one. And so then you just click Retrieve, 
and it will give you a warning that it's going to be overwritten if you bring them in, if you have any other letters that are in there. And that's okay. And that's what happens. You've got 19 letters. It's about 30 days as it goes because you don't send a letter every single day. Okay. And so that's that. And then, let me see, because we need to get, now I'm going to show you how to get the HTML code when you're making your splash page. Okay, I know I'm going fast on this. I'm sorry. You can always pause it and go back later. Um, capture forms right up here. See, I just went back to manage my autoresponder campaign. And this is, you got your profile, your letters, your subscribers that you can look to, uh, capture forms. So we're going to go click capture forms, basic HTML code. And this is going to give you that. This is right here. This is what you want to copy. This right here. Okay. Now, hello, get over there. Okay, that's my, my capture page, my lead capture or squeeze page, they call it. I want to show you how to set one of these up. Now, Weebly.com is where you're going to go and sign up. That's a free site. Um, like I said before, Traffic Wave is free 30 days, and then it's seventeen ninety five from thereafter. But it is more than worth its weight because you're building a list, and it's sending out the messages, and you can add... Um, oh, let me go over and show you in this. When you go to letters, you're going to check the letters, review and edit letters. Just click on this little magnifying glass and click edit. If you can also click proofread or, okay, and they bring, they bring up the letters for you. And this is where you can change you will need to change, you know, the links, and you'll set up your own landing page, and the email, and everything. But the letters are in there. You're just going to have to edit them. Alrighty. So I'll leave that back on to capture form, capture page form. I'm sorry if this is going long. I didn't mean it to go so long. Now, Weebly, okay, you're not going to have any sites in here, even though I have a few. So you're going to click on Add Site. We're going to click on Site. And this is the website that I use, this one right here. Okay, so we're just going to pick Choose. And then we're going to just, um, just for right now, I'm just going to do Carol 101. And continue. Oh, hello. Gotta click that. Okay. Continue. Okay, now you come over here, click this little, I don't know if you can see that over there. There's an edit image, and then there's this little button right there. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click this little edit, edit image. Click Splash. Okay. And voila, you have the Splash page. Okay. Now, first thing, if, if you want to make it like mine, now you can play around with this. You can set one up like mine real fast, and then go ahead and play around and use use different different things you know you can put your picture over in here 
but for the sake of time I'm just gonna just gonna do this okay now we you click on the text box and move it over it's as simple as drop and drag technology which a lot of these have okay and I'm just gonna go over here and center this and then I'm this is the color part I'm gonna make this black because it kind of comes out gray when you first do it see and then I'm gonna make this center part red you could make it blue you can make it yellow whatever you want okay and then uh, enter info for all details. Okay, we don't want this one as bold or as big. We don't want it that small either, though, do we? Okay all the details okay that's good I like to publish it in between real fast just so I don't lose it just in case boo-boo's happen okay here's the embedded code this is the code that you need for the autoresponder itself just click that in you see where that blue line is right there when that shows up it, it shows that it's going up but it's not that's where the autoresponder will be I click on the tab and I click this in the center to center it. Okay. Now I'm going to come back over to Traffic Wave. Click on Basic Hotmail uh, HTML code again. Click on this. Right click and copy it. And come back to Weebly. I got to click out to get rid of that. Okay. And now I paste that back in there. Okay. And that it should be. Business website will say. Now it's being published. Now we can take a peek. Ta-da! There's your website. Up in like five minutes. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> well, okay. Twelve minutes. Um, <laughs> now you can go over here and you can edit the image. Okay, here's the images. The one I picked down below was way, way down way down there but you can pick some other you know look at I mean look at all these images you've got that you could pick from you could pick this one well that would be pretty only save to only this page just in case you have a bunch of other pages you don't want to have any boo-boos and have all your pages suddenly with that background if you don't want it that way and we'll click and look and ta-da! Very nice lead capture page. Okay, this is a, a quick video on that. I'm sorry it wasn't as quick as I wanted, <laughs> but it showed you the traffic wave and the Weebly, and you can get this set up free for the first 30 days and with four corners, get that all added in there and get two income streams going at once. Okay, thank you very much for your time and for staying with me and give me a call or shoot me an email anytime at some um, uh, at gmail.com you guys have a good night